All right, what's up everyone? Today we have a little bit of a different video. I'm heading out to Worlds this week, all the way to Virginia. So I figured I'd show you guys what I'm traveling in. All right, so like I said, I'm heading out to Virginia for Worlds, just a cool little 14 hour drive. So here's what I'm traveling in. So we're gonna start in the cab. First things first, this is a Ford Transit van. It's the high roof. It's like the tallest van you can find on the market. I think Mercedes might be the only one higher, but it also is like $50,000 more. So this is definitely the most uh, money efficient for me. There's really not much up here. Uh, it's kind of just random small little things. Um, like for starters up at the top here, it's funny, I, for whatever reason, collect hats, but I only ever wear the one hat. So like, I have this cool like National Park Service hat. Uh, this one was from USDGC in 2021. This was uh, one of the first Ozark Mountain Discs hat we did. And then the Prez hat. And this one I just got actually this weekend at the KC Wide Open. So up next, uh, we have kind of like my, uh, my bookshelf of sorts. Uh, just this little basket that I got in Africa, but it's got my my book of all the birds of North America. I'm not like a huge bird guy, but uh, if I see a cool one, I'll come and find it and then I can find out what it was. Uh, I have a couple of like super old, like Western books. I've read one, I haven't read the other and it's been a long time, but pretty fun. I like cowboy type stuff, so I'm really into those books. Little multi-tool, some gum. Advil. So it really is just kind of little odds and ends stuff. Okay, so next we kind of have like the uh, protection of sorts, if you will. First, uh, I've got two wooden baseball bats. Never had to use them, probably will never have to use them, at least as far as like intruders go. But I do have them sitting here. Uh, but this is kind of the main guy. This is called a Rungu. And uh, I got it when I was in Africa. It's made out of ebony. Um, but rungu in Swahili means mace, and so it's basically what it is. It's just this thick piece of wood with this little nub on it, and boy, does it do damage. So I would like to see anyone test me with this thing. Um, this thing is an absolute bruiser, but uh, he stays right here by the driver's seat just in case I need some uh, quick combat, you know. I also can't not just have uh, frisbees everywhere, so I have a glitch and a pitch uh, that just sit at the driver's seat. A lot of times if I'm stuck in traffic, I'll probably just be like spinning it on my finger or something, but those always just stay right there. And then to round out uh, the, uh, the cab here, we've got up top, uh, we have two cowboy hats and they're actually kind of stuck together, but I have technically this is felt. This is like my winter cowboy hat. And then this one is just straw. This is my summer one. I wear them every so often when I'm driving. I don't wear them like all the time because sometimes when I do wear it, it bumps the seat and that's kind of annoying. I also just found uh, my other weapon, um, just a classic old slingshot here. I don't have any rocks for it at the moment, but these things fire pretty good. So I always keep it up top here. That should do it for the front. Let's move on to the back. All right, so we're gonna start in the kitchen here. Uh, I've got this big, it's L counter space. We made it out of a couple butcher block. I was originally just going to do this side, but then I realized I wanted a sink and I wanted a like refrigerator and I wanted storage underneath. So it all just kind of grew, but I love the way it turned out. We've just got this nice little like stainless steel square sink. It's pretty deep, fits enough. I mean, it's just me in here, so I don't need like a ton of uh, like dishes. So that works out just fine. And then I have this copper uh, pipe for the sink that me and my dad soldered together and it works really well. Uh, underneath, we have fresh water, we have gray water, and then we have this foot pump. So the water pumps from the fresh water into the sink, down the drain, into the gray water. They're both seven gallon tanks. Um, so eventually like I'll have to uh, uh, empty one and then refill the other, but it all works out. So I also have my, uh, my cleaning. So I have like paper towels and I have uh, dish soap and trash bags and I have toilet paper for the occasional emergency if that happens. Hasn't yet, but never say never, right? All right, so next we got the refrigerator. This is just like your typical like college dorm room refrigerator. I had an electric cooler, but it stopped working. So we just got this last night. There's currently like almost nothing in it. I'm gonna get some groceries today to fill it up. Uh, and then 
right here. I've got a tub, you can't really see it from there, but it has my pots and pans, it has an air fryer, it has a blender, it has my like propane stove uh, when I do like outdoor camping. Then up top in these cabinets here is where I kind of keep like my food and stuff. Uh, I don't believe, oh, we got a little bit on this side, um, but it's just like bread and chips and other like dry food. Uh, eventually I'll have like some canned food and stuff in there as well. We move over, this is kind of my little like nook if you will. Um, it's just this little bowl with some fake plants, but got a little notepad, this deep blue, which is basically like all natural icy hot, stuff is overpowered. Uh, extra chargers, pins, I have a whiteboard up here, so it's got my marker. Um, and then the last thing in the kitchen, I guess, is I used to be a big climber. I still technically am, I just haven't been in a long time, but I have a little, a uh, little board here that I can hang from and still kind of get like a little bit of practice in and it does hold my weight pretty good So pretty impressive. All right, so moving on to the living room uh, We kind of have this couch made into three parts. I can move the pillows here Especially when you're living in a van you need to like maximize storage potential. So under the cushions we have removable tops and so like this one has like my my shower backpack and stuff so it's got like my soap and toothbrush and toothpaste and then it has like all my extra shoes that I need and I can just throw them in there that way I'm not getting like the main floor dirty this middle one just comes out so if I ever have people like in the van I can just take this out and you can almost sit across from each other but I usually don't take this too often I just leave it in like couch mode and then that's where i do like most of my relaxing like after the day is done before i get into bed and then the last one here you take the top off this is like all of my electronic stuff so this is our camera bag which i will be taking i'm going out there i'm going to film a ton of videos i'm hoping to basically do like one every day i'm there which i think will be like five or six days and then be posting those throughout like the next couple weeks probably. But so I have my camera stuff and then this one has like my laptop and has my switch and like other little game consoles and every single charger you could possibly imagine in there. Also, it does get pretty hot in here during the day, but even uh, during the night. So we have this max air fan. Um, it's really awesome and it works great. Um, you just give it a little twist and it pops up up top. I'll show you guys the roof in a little bit, but it pops up. You just hit the power and you get that airflow. Uh, it has two modes, so you can actually have it blow in or out. Right now it's blowing in, but a lot of times if I'm just sitting stationary somewhere, I'll have it blow out. And so it's sucking all that up. And especially when I have the doors open, it just creates like a huge draft through and, and drops the, the temp in here by a lot. So it helps a ton and I love it. I also have two sets of outlets here and then my light switches for the front are all right there as well. All right, so we're finally moving on to the bedroom here. Uh, my bed is basically just like, I think it's like a five or six inch, uh, just foam, uh, memory foam mattress pad that we bought and we just cut to size because we did have to like, kind of cut to shape all these inlets here just to make sure it fit perfectly. It sleeps really, really, really comfortably more than I thought. I am six feet tall and I think this is like from end to end, it's like five foot eight or something like that. So I, I sleep with my head on one side and my feet kind of come to the other corner and I can sleep just fine. It sure does get the job done. I wouldn't probably sleep more than one in this bed just because it would be super cramped. But I will say we have fit four people in here before and I was the shortest person. So that was incredibly crammed, but it was a lot of fun. So that's all that matters right there. All right, so up top I have one, two, three, four cabinets. Um, this front one up here is like my towels and all my dirty laundry. This one is all my dishes, like my, my plates and bowls and spoons and forks and knives and all that stuff. Uh, this back one uh, is all like my heavy clothing. Uh, I don't know how much I'll need it, but it's like my hoodies and like rain jacket and other stuff like that, pants. Um, and then this side is like shorts, t-shirt, underwear, socks. It's like, this is like my, my main uh, cabinet here but it fits everything I need I really don't have a lot of clothes all right so kind of wrap up the bedroom I have my keyboard on my bed I've been learning uh for a few months now um and I have a lot of downtime especially at night when it's dark and I don't want to go anywhere I'll just sit and play this for a bit but I usually like I'll just move it to the couch if 
I'm going to bed and then the same way if I'm just laying down there, I'll just move it up here. Yeah, it's kind of one of my one of my new hobbies here. That wraps up the bedroom. Let's move on to the garage. All right, I actually changed my mind. Before I show you the garage, I'm gonna show you guys the roof because it's got all my solar and then you can kind of see the fan up there. But for starters, I have this nice, I forget the brand, but just nice backdoor ladder that I can get up to the top. Uh, I don't regularly do it probably as much as I should, but you have to wash off, you know, clean off the dust and pollen and whatever's on the panels every so often. Uh, so that's how I get up there to do that. So let's go. All right, so this is the roof. Uh, this is the fan I talked about. Um, it's down right now. And then these are three 100 watt solar panels. They're Renogy solar panels, which I believe are like the best in the business. I think I've had these for about three years and so far I haven't had any issues with anything or the batteries or anything like that. So they've been working incredible. Granted, I don't have a ton of stuff to power like at one time. So they haven't been put to like a crazy test, but for what I need them to do, they work great. All right, it's hot up here. So let's move down to the garage. All right, so last but not least, we're gonna get into the garage here. And it's really cool. They have these little latches on them so you can open them up all the way. And then you have even more space to look into. But this is kind of where I have everything, it seems. I have my bag. This is like the most important thing in the van to me at the moment. That's propane for my outdoor stove. These are all my tools and everything. This is an outdoor uh, mat that I got from my aunt. So like if I'm ever parked in like a campground, I just kind of set it out there and then I can set some lawn chairs or if I'm with people, I can set it out and not have to get like all my stuff super dirty. And then right here, this is like the second most important stuff. This is all my discs. So I kind of have them sorted out. So Discraft is one side, Prodigy's on another side. And then I have, Innova and then just like a bunch of miscellaneous discs um, but these are any like replacement discs that I might need for my bag or if I'm going to do uh, any like review like disc reviews or anything like that they're kind of just in these boxes here. Then if you move over to this side this is all the electric so this is an a thousand watt inverter and basically on this side has these wires that run all the way to the front and that's where the light switches and everything is at. This is like my charge controllers. So this tells me how much power I'm getting um, if things are overheating or getting too cool, like the battery. Um, and then this is the battery and I think it's just gel. I don't think it's lithium ion or anything like that because those lithium ion ones are like crazy, crazy expensive. But this is the same battery I've had since we installed the solar panels and it's worked perfectly, I mean, knock on wood, but it's worked perfectly ever since we've put it in there. So I'm really impressed with all this Renogy stuff and I hope it stays this way for a while. And then kind of up top hanging, I have, this is like a, a zero degree sleeping bag because in the winter time it does get pretty cold in here because I don't have like a heater or anything like that. This is my like trekking backpack if I'm ever doing like multi-day like camps or anything like that. I have this guy that I can just load up. And then this is all my climbing stuff. This is like my harness and shoes and chalk and everything like that. I haven't used these in a while, but if I happen to find myself near like a good rock, then I'll give it a shot. But I also don't have anyone to climb with. So like I don't have ropes or anything like that. So it's really just bouldering. So I'm not gonna go like crazy high. That does it for the, uh, the garage here. And I think for the van in its entirety. Okay, so that is gonna do it for the van tour here. Um, one thing left is that I do not have a name for this van. I've had it for maybe like three-ish years. Haven't thought of a name. So if you have a good name for this van, please comment down below and maybe you can help me out. It's been too long. Um, they've just gone nameless as the van. So yeah, help me out there. But yeah, I'm off to Virginia, long drive, but I'm ready to get there. Uh, I'm gonna have like a little vlog kind of going the whole week and that'll be its own video. And then we have, I'm gonna be playing a bunch of like foundations courses. Um, so if you enjoy watching them, hopefully you'll enjoy watching those as well. So be on the lookout for those. I hope they'll be coming out like fairly quick. It's just a matter of when I can kind of record them and get them off. And then I might have some actual like world's tournament content coming. So got a lot of stuff this next week. Uh, make sure to stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe. We're almost to a thousand subscribers and we love you. We appreciate you. Ozark Mountain, disc to the moon. We'll see you.